This is part two of the Lenovo Legion laptop with Intel Core Ultra 7 255 processor. Here are things that I found out about the laptop after a couple of months of usage. First off, its 20 cores are helping me into a lot of tasks such as compiling programs and video rendering. Because the performance estimation can be quite subjective, we can see from the touch power up the performance of Core Ultra 9 to 85 versus the 14 series of i9 as well as Ryzen 9. As you can see on one side for certain applications, Core Ultra 9 fares better than the others. And uh, my recommendation is here just before choosing to look specifically what kind of applications you would like to run and then to choose manufacturer and type of processor. Especially at night, initially the power button was bugging me with its bright blue light, but Lenovo released recently a BIOS update where you can turn off this option. For night usage, the keyboard has two different light modes, which can be switched with function key and the space. I also find out the OLED screen to be very convenient for environments where there is a low light because each of the pixels will be independently lit up and down and not like clusters of pixels. And this is the advantage that OLED has over the LCD and others. Speaking of OLED, you can improve the longevity of your screen by preventing burn-in. You just need to get the Lenovo Vantage application and then from the left top menu, I go to OLED Care and you have three settings for OLED power. You go to device settings, display. If you scroll down, you see OLED power. You have taskbar dimmer, background dimmer and display dimmer. All of them will dim specific parts of the screen after a certain time so that those pixels will not affect the whole matrix of the screen. So you can adjust the preservation mode from here. The battery life of the laptop is uh, convenient for me. It lasts between 2.30 to 3 hours. Heavy tasks such as program compilation or rendering. If you're going to use it for light office work, this time can be extended. I'm using it predominantly for rendering of video content as well as coding. And I haven't experienced so far warming of the keyboard or any other side effects. One more thing to notice are the reflections on the screen. They are a little bit annoying because the screen is glossier than normal TM type. But if you increase a little bit the brightness and stay away from light coming from the back, working with this uh, screen can turn into a very nice experience, not to mention that it's 2K on 165 hertz. And so far, I haven't experienced any hurt on the eyes. All right, so that's the review in a nutshell. If you have any further questions, you can ask in the comments. Thank you, guys. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more.